In this video, we're going to be doing a uniform motion problem, and we call these types of problems uniform motion problems because the two objects that are moving or the two people that are moving move in the same way, and most commonly this means that they travel the same distance. So in this particular problem, we're told that Arnold and Kay make the same trip, but they do it on different days. So for example, Arnold makes the trip on Tuesday. K makes the trip on Thursday. The reason that they tell you they're making the same trip is to let you know that they travel the same amount of distance. So Arnold traveled at 12 miles an hour, K traveled at 20 miles an hour, so the trip took her two hours less than it took Arnold, which makes sense because if K traveled at a faster speed, then the trip is gonna take her less time. How far did they travel? So what was the distance that they traveled? Well, to solve a uniform motion problem, the first thing we wanna remember is that we're gonna be using this equation here for distance, which tells us that distance is equal to rate times time. So if I multiply together the rate that I travel and the amount of time I travel, then I'm gonna get the amount of distance that I travel. So this is gonna be the formula that we're gonna use. The first thing we wanna do then is draw a diagram of our motion. So we're gonna say both Arnold and K started at the same point. So we're gonna say that they started here and that they traveled to this point here. So we'll go ahead and say that Arnold started here and he traveled to this point. And so we can call this Arnold's distance. So we'll say the distance of Arnold, D sub A. And then we'll say that K started at the same point. She made the same trip. So she started at the same point. She traveled to the same point. And so this is gonna be K's distance or D sub K. Because they made the same trip and we know that they traveled the same distance, we can go ahead and say that D sub A, Arnold's distance, is gonna be equal to D sub K, K's distance. Now we know that distance is equal to rate times time. So when you look at this formula, what we wanna realize is that we can make a substitution, right? We know that D is equal to RT, so we can use these interchangeably. So instead of saying distance, we can say rate times time. So we can say Arnold's rate, R sub A, times Arnold's time, T sub A, is gonna be equal to K's rate times K's time. So K's rate times K's time. We just substituted rate times time for distance. Since we know that their distances are equal, we know that the product of their rates and times are also going to be equal. The reason we wanted to get to this point is because the only information we've been given in this problem is about Arnold and Kay's rate and time. We haven't been given any information about their distance. That's the unknown that we need to find. So we wanted to get the equation in this form so that we could start plugging in some of the values we've been given. So let's write down what we know, what we've been told in the problem. It says Arnold traveled at a rate of 12 miles an hour. So that's gonna be Arnold's rate. So we can go ahead and say Arnold's rate, or R sub A, is gonna be equal to 12. We've been told K traveled at 20 miles per hour. So that's gonna be K's rate. So we can say K's rate, or R sub K, is gonna be equal to 20. Then it tells us the trip took K two hours less than it took Arnold because she traveled faster. So we can say that K's time, or T sub K, K's time, is gonna be equal to Arnold's time, so T sub A, minus two. And that should make sense to us because if we think about this, if we say, let's just pretend for a second, that the trip took Arnold 10 hours, then we can say T sub A is 10, we get 10 minus two, and we can say K's time is eight. So if Arnold's time were 10, then K's time would be eight, and that would make sense because we know that it took K two hours less than it took Arnold, and eight is two less than 10. So we know we've written an accurate equation here that relates K's time to Arnold's time. So now with these three pieces of information, we can go ahead and plug into this rate times time equation here. We know R sub A is equal to 12, so we'll go ahead and plug that in. We don't have a value yet for T sub A, so we'll go ahead and leave that as is. We know R sub K is equal to 20, K's rate is 20. And we know T sub K, K's time, is equal to T sub A minus two. So T sub A minus two. Now we want to go ahead and simplify and solve for t sub a, which is the only variable we have remaining. So we'll get 12 times t sub a is equal to 20 times t sub a minus 40. We just distributed this 20 across the t sub a and the negative 2. Now if we subtract 20 t sub a from both sides, we're going to get negative 8 t sub a is equal to negative 40. Dividing both sides by negative 8, we'll get t sub a is equal to positive 5. 
which tells us that the amount of time it took Arnold was five hours. And we can go ahead and plug Arnold's time into this equation we have for t sub k to get a value for t sub k. So when we do that, we're going to get t sub k is equal to, plugging in 5 for t sub a, we get 5 minus 2, t sub k is equal to 3. Now, since we know that distance is equal to rate times time, and we have the rate and the time for both Arnold and K, we can find the distance that they traveled. So we know that Arnold's rate was 12, and we know that Arnold's time was 5, so his distance is going to be 12 times 5, which we see is 60. K's rate was 20, and K's time was 3, so k's distance will be 20 times 3, which is 60. And this should make sense to us because you can see that we got the same distance for both Arnold and k, and we know that they traveled the same distance because they made the same trip. So we should have gotten equal distances for both Arnold and k, and we can say that they both traveled a distance of 60 miles.